In this video, we're going to look at basic flash messaging within Laravel. So essentially what we want to do is take a route, so for example, test, and we want that to redirect back to our public page, so just our home page. And we want to flash a message that we then want to display at the top of the page. So this could be using a framework like Foundation or Bootstrap, but I'm just going to be doing this with plain text for now. So the first thing I really want to do is start to create out a template. If you're not already templating in your application, uh, this is extremely easy uh, with the blade syntax. So let's create a new folder within views and let's call this uh, templates or template. And within this folder, let's create just a default .blade.php template. So this is gonna be our basic template. So let's just create a basic document here. And we'll just say something like website there and we will just go ahead and indent this. So what we now want to do is somewhere within here yield in the content that we're gonna place in from our other uh, Blade files. So we just say yield content. Now up here is where we're gonna be adding the flash message and the reason we're doing this is um, obviously if you're just using a template you're not going to want to include the ability to flash messages for every single page um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to extract this and, and put it in a separate um, a separate fault uh, file as well so basically we don't have to if we create another template for example you could have default template forum template article template um, you might not want to have to duplicate the, the actual logic. So let's go ahead and just create an, a normal view. Uh, we'll just create, say, home.blade.php. And under roots for the home, let's just return that view. So let's just say home, and there we go. So inside of home now, let's just write home just so we can see that that's fine. Cool, it works. Um, but obviously within home, we want to go ahead and we want to uh, extend the default template so template dot default and then here this is going to be the section content and we'll stop that there so that's the basis of our template you can see now that we have our source wrapping this or our uh, markup for our page wrapping this so let's go ahead and start to build out these flash messages so what we're going to do down here is we're going to build it and then we're going to take it off and put it in a partials folder so I'm going to create a just a new route here uh, and essentially what this is going to do is it's just going to redirect us. So this might be within a controller. You might want to redirect a user and say sorry you need to sign in for that. Uh, it could even be within your filters. Uh, you might want to under your authentication feature uh, filters uh, redirect and then and then um, obviously give a message. But for now, we'll just do this within Roots just so we can keep it in one place. So let's do a redirect. And we'll redirect to our home page. And you can obviously use um, action here. Um, and you could provide home if you'd named this. It's entirely up to you what you do. So what we can do now is we can obviously pass uh, a variable uh, as a session to this uh, page. So all we need to do is say with. So I'm going to call this message. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm sure you'll find a suitable name enough for it. Uh, but I'm just going to say uh, you need to sign in. Obviously, complete example, this doesn't actually uh, check if the user has signed in. So this doesn't really make sense. But we'll put that there as a placeholder. So inside of default now, what we can actually do is we can say session get message now that would ordinarily get the message but obviously if that's not set um, we don't get anything it just outputs absolutely nothing and it's likely that you'll want to wrap some kind of uh, template around that so if, for example we visit test at the moment you can see that that redirects us with that message and obviously when the user refreshes that's a flashed message so it will just disappear so um, here what we might want to do is create some kind of wrapper for this. So you might want to have, say, I don't know, a div with a class of alert or something like that. And what that's going to do then is it's going to style that up for you. And you, all you would do is you would place this inside of here. So what we can actually do is we can create an if statement to say if session has message and only if the session has a message, then we want to output, uh, sorry, end if, then we want to output the markup 
and then we want to output the message here. So we could apply a really, really quick style to this. I'm just going to do this in the header just for the sake of simplicity. You would obviously want to take this into a style sheet. So let's say alert and let's say we want this to be a background of slate gray. We want the color to be white perhaps. Uh, we want the padding to be 20 pixels and a margin bottom of 20 pixels as well. So that then when we visit test detects that adds the markup in and gives us our flash message. Now you can also use dynamic methods. So if you didn't want to do this syntax, personally I prefer this way, but you could say with message and get rid of this altogether. And Laravel will detect the fact that this is a variable called message within your uh, page. So what you could then do is visit test and you get exactly the same result. So that's a really quick guide to flashing messages with Laravel. You can use this anywhere across your application and redirect your users back to the home page, the forum page, whatever page you have, because then that's in the template. Now, very, very lastly, um, if you're interested, we're gonna extract this to a partial. So if we just go ahead and get rid of this now, and we're going to say include template.partials. And let's call this a message or something like that. And inside of here, let's create a new folder called partials. And then let's create a new partial in here called message.blade.php. Paste that in, sort out the alignment there. And there we go. So we should, if we've done everything correctly, get the same result.